Whether you're a 20-year veteran to Aruba or this is your first time on the island, join me for a look at the other side of the bridge. Thanks for stopping by here at Doing Time with Dan on the other side of the bridge. We're at Joanne's Snack, a great local joint. You're going to see some of the food in just a few seconds. And then a little bit later on, we're going to check in with the crew from Aruba Bob Snorkeling. Now remember, before you go snorkeling, you want to have a great meal. And that's why we're at Joanne's Snack. I've just ordered the pork chop with salsa criollo, and we also have the pollo asada, which is kind of a grilled chicken breast. Both are delicious, and we're going to check them out right now. As promised, we're here at Mangle Alto for a look at Aruba Bob snorkeling. You're going to see the gear up close first as we head over to their headquarters, and Stuart and Kat are going to explain exactly how it works and what quality it is, and then we're going to come back here and join a group as they go out into the ocean. Marine life. So Stuart, tell me, what types of marine life will I see there at Mangle Alto? Well, all sorts really. It's probably the most diverse site on the island. Uh, there's a lot of corals, from brain corals and fan corals. We also have fire, a lot of fire corals in Aruba. Um, it's, a, it's extremely diverse marine life too. Uh, we have lots of fish. We have about 300 species of fish. Anything from your small parrot fish, butterfly fish, angel fish, up to your big barracuda. Well, so you're going to be in the water and you're going to see all these fish. As you snorkel along the top, they're going to be all around down there. Now, I also hear there's a sunken boat. Uh, that's a wreck they put down there. Is that something we're going to see? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah we swim right over the top of that. Nice. So you're going to swim right over a wreck. You can see all the fish swimming through there. Now, we're going to talk about the equipment as well because you're coming on an airplane to Aruba probably, or maybe you're on a cruise ship. Either way, you don't want to carry all this gear with you. Don't bother. Stuart will tell us here right now they have professional level gear, uh, including the mask and the snorkel. He's going to give us some details about that right now. Stuart, tell me. Tell me about the mask and the snorkels that you guys provide for all the snorkels. Sure. Well, we, we keep our, our equipment top grade. Um, we replace it yearly. Um, we also take care of our masks so they're all treated. So we, get, we, we don't get any fog in our masks. Uh, generally, when people bring their own equipment, they get a lot of fog in the lens, so they're not going to see as much as they would if they use our equipment. The snorkels are called semi-dry snorkels. So they keep not all of the water out, but a lot of the water out. Um, and it's real top grade stuff. We, we take care of it and we, we try and get people to leave their stuff back at the hotel if they're gonna bring it at all. Um, that way there's a lot, left in, a lot less for them to carry around um, right. and they'll have a great time with our stuff. Right, you're gonna have a lot more fun if you're not carrying all this heavy gear around. And as you can see, we have professional grade equipment here. You're not fooling around with the amateur stuff or maybe something you bought at a hotel for just a few bucks. This is good equipment. Now I'm gonna trade Stuart for another piece of equipment and this is proof positive that Aruba Bob does it absolutely right. Stuart, this is the blade fish. That's right. Uh, this will help pull you through the water. This is like James Bond stuff here. Stuart, tell me about the blade fish. Blade fish, this is a kind of a, a mid-sized water scooter um, that really helps you um, to cover the distance that we cover. We, we can cover up to about a mile sometimes, to really depending on how comfortable you are in the water. Um, and these, these help if there's a bit of a current or if you're maybe not as strong a swimmer as you used to be. Um, these can really help pull you through the water. They're not going to do all of the work for you. They're really going to help to cover some of the distance. And that's what makes it more fun. In other words, you're looking at the fish as the blade fish is helping pull you along, and you can just relax in the water and enjoy yourself instead of working so hard, you know, to stay against the sea. Now, Kat, you're new to the Aruba Bob operation. How are you finding it? Wonderful. I love it. I, I've been coming out here for a couple years, and I started helping them with the tours here and there, um, but I just moved out to the island this past December, and now I'm here full time helping out with the snorkeling, and I can't complain. Awesome. Hey, everybody, this is the group called the Wacky Group. <laughs> Now they're laughing, but they can't wait to be on camera too. So we're all from Minnesota and we're getting out of the snow. This doesn't see any sun here, so
next time we come to Aruba, we will get a hold of Aruba Bob because we've tried all the other companies. Nothing compares to Aruba Bob. He's number one. He's well known throughout the Caribbean. We wouldn't think of going anywhere else. Thank you. That's one heck of an endorsement there for Aruba Bob snorkeling. Thanks for stopping by here at Doing Time with Dan. Remember, we're on the other side of the bridge here in Aruba, and that's where some of the best stuff can be found. So check back frequently for more exciting updates. Mm -hmm.